Shalom Zansi. Sanam gela gudi jole bu pilo la gua SABC2. Now the aim of our show is to help deal with our food related issues in order for us to live healthier, happier lives. Every week in memo gutne subuza no ma yin en funu ya zungo gula. Besege tina sola all ngondon ngondo bedu but ba pendule imi buzo ye. Now I'm telling you, fruits and vegetables. Yes, some of you like makaya. You are preparing to change the channel. No, but you don't enjoy them. Ni fana no lebo khange wa se kahiso. We post a video on Twitter page yet with a few questions about fruits and veggies. Hi, Dijon Lubopilo. I have questions regarding fruits and vegetables. But first, I want to know, is there a way of preparing vegetables for one to enjoy? Sesa hamba sa chagana no malevza to learn more about her before spendo la mibuzo yake. Arbonen? I was 36 years old, and I was raised by my aunt, who loved to give me vegetables. I hated vegetables. I still do, actually. Every time somebody put them on the plate, I would just give them to anybody who's nearby. In fact, I still do do that. I have children and I know that I'm supposed to give them vegetables because they're good for them. So I don't know what to do and I'd like to find out how can I prepare food for them so that they will enjoy it because I hated the way they looked. Maybe it was the way they were prepared. I don't know. I hate the look of spinach when it's cooked. I hate the look of pumpkin when it's cooked. I feel a sense of guilt. I'm depriving them from the nutrients they're supposed to be having from the vegetables. Hikes up the vegetables. So, DJ Lebo Pelo, Kiko can you give me alternative ways of preparing vegetables in an appetizing manner for my children? We are joined by our chef Palisa Siabela, who will be answering Imibuzo Kalibuhang. Still, you can see the name of the Twitter at Dijo Libupilo or Facebook me Dijo Libupilo or email Dijo Libupilo at sabc.co.za. Siabuya Mad. Welcome back. Usasenam lagu dijo libu pelo. Nam sanjes kuluma ngama vegetables. How can you prepare them? Ogut aluke appetizing and delicious. That's our question here from Ulebu Ham. My favorite chef is here, Upalisa Siabela, and she'll be giving valuable answers to imibuzo galebza. Chef Palisa, how are you? I'm good, thanks to you, Kuma. Always good seeing you. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. Can we just get into the discussion now? Ulebu Ham is not the only one. Ota gasa nama fruits nama vegetables, especially nama vegetables. Is it, is it a genetic thing or I think it's a abanye bayakhula bangajwa isanga ama veg and then abanye bakhula maybe gogo kumama bengangwa pheki kahle or they overcook them they become mushy yes yabo intentions azibi ne texture azibi ne taste yabo mabathi upheki into iziphuma umsopho wayo yeah mara ngithi sikhule siboil ama vegetables kakhulu and losing Yes, the nutrients. I'm a nutrients. Wakona. So you don't even know what carrot is going to be sweet. I was with the potato. Yes, it's going to be sweet. So that could have caused what to live on and enjoy my fruits and my vegetables. Perhaps one of the reasons. And also, if you want to get into the zone from a young age, it's called to enjoy my fruits and my vegetables. Yes. So that's why I'm a little bit shown. Is there something that she can do? Yes, there is. Exactly. You see, the trick with my fruits and veg is that mm -hmm. Abantu and isn't as sweet. Mm -hmm. And my fruits and veg are already sweet. Mm -hmm. So if you just prepare them in their natural state, being a fruit, mm -hmm. and then ama veg are gonna now try keep them true to their natural form mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah, but unga boil it until it's like pume yonke kala. Or totally spinach is a sea yellow instead of a sea green. Yeah, but intention. So if you keep the stuff in their natural form, you will find the natural sweetness yeah, and it will be very appetizing and tasty for Makes sense. Yes. It is says what you 
So which fruits and vegetables can I prepare and how can I prepare them for my kids to enjoy breakfast? A good question. A very good question. I mean, a lot of people don't like fruits and vegetables and they, when they think of preparing them, they think, ah, oh, Yes, and generally, if your mom doesn't eat them, you won't eat them. Yes. If she doesn't seem to be enjoying them, you won't seem to be enjoying them. So well. the trick is to her, for her to enjoy. Yes. First. Or to even pretend at least. At least, yeah, I act. <laughs> yeah. What, what are you suggesting she does? I suggest that she blend smoothies. Ah, I'm doing. I yeah. want smoothies. You could make a blender. Any blender, changura. Yeah, I've got my options. I've got to go and let blender lay in cool. And then there's something called a stick blender or a hand blender, okay. which is very portable. It's small and it's much cheaper. Okay, it's available everywhere. Everywhere. Brilliant. Yeah. So since I can't change, since I say smoothie, can't. Yeah, since the smoothie, I'm a fruit based. This is a fish or vegetable part. So we have fish. We have fish. Hmm. Okay. So that uh, the kids can get nutrients from the fruits mm -hmm. and the veg as well. So what do we have here? Some honey. Yes, strawberry, mm -hmm. banana, baby spinach, mm -hmm. and plain yogurt. Mm. I love the fact that you are hiding the vegetable in there. Yes. And it's still iba tasty. Iba tasty. Futa is wagali. So you can manage. Okay, I'm getting the blender, but it's not a stick blender. Oh. It's a digital pillow, higher grade <laughs> blender. No, it's okay. Right. Minage, if you can just take this for me, Great. the plain yogurt, just so that I can clear this up to chop the fruits. Lena mm. unaifaga inside the plain yogurt. So we'll just. Chop up some strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. <laughs> spoon, 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 spoon. But remember, the chopping doesn't have to be anything fine or whatever. Yeah. Because the blender does most of the work uh -huh. for us. So you're just chopping so that the blender just can... Just chopping just to make it. it easier, yes. I'm just interested because when I'm on blender, I rarely add... You see, another thing, um, which I'm sure you've heard of, because when I ask, Tandis and Tizzy healthy, my body, you need five a day. Mm -hmm. It means five fruits and vegetables a day. So, yeah, mix it. This is a great way to get in all of that once. Okay. Yeah, so that you don't have to stress. So, in, 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 yes. In, in. Yes. yes. So, we'll just put in a handful of our spinach. Okay. And we'll just put in our so strawberries. And then if banana here, we can just, oh, we can just do nothing that. fancy. Because ah, the blender is a very shallow. Yes. And then kabo mungang fagela in plain yogurt. How much? Like, I can just measure it. Okay. Just keep One. going. I'm very mm. nice. So, you can use the yogurt, the coconut milk, the almond oh, milk. Yes. Mixing it with watermelon also works out if ah. you're not, um, or any watery kind of yes. food. Yeah, yes. that's about enough. Nama crepes, nya nama sound. Yes, nama okay. crepes. And then you want to go petty honey lap instead of sugar. Yes, yeah. natural sweetness. Abanya basa and this is molasses. It's not a preference of mine. Yeah. I think it changes the taste a bit, but I mean, I love honey, I so love I'll honey. use honey. And okay. it's better than just throwing in sugar. Yes. Exactly. Even if it's brown sugar. Yes. It is honey, but yes. It. And usually with a honey, um, I I count so many tell I get one two three, four, five percent stop. Yeah, I'll find the food. Ah, it's so sweet. sweet. Okay, I'm just saying because I have to eat. Okay, so we're going to one two three four five. So yeah. man, sometimes you can put per spoon. Yes, per spoon you can. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But me na just go with my feeling of okay. the day. If I feel like something more sweet. Then I'll count to ten. And I love that because then you control what you want to have, yes. what your sweetness. Yes. And this is guilt free. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And then spasa we pick a. Siso presa lana and then. It mixes it all up. Is that too much? Do you want it really, really watery? Because I think I'm not my watery cool. It depends on the taste your mood. If it's still too watery for you, then you just add in ah. in lento, in yogurt to your actual bowl. It. Yes. We turn the January. We turn the. Mean I'm turning the puzzle, so a bit watery. Okay, so now I'm not entirely happy because it's for kids. I would drink it. Me and you can be happy with yes. it. Yes, it's still green. I'll turn so, the book in back on. Mm -hmm. but I need to focus here to have So yes. how do we make it more? We make it brighter, we just add more strawberries. Aha. Okay. All right, now let's try that again. For some coloring, ne? Yes, for some coloring. Ah, nyabon. Oh, goodness. So while you get that, let me just whip it up one more time. Okay. You're right. Yeah, you're right, manje. This is this Nutella, also taster. There we go. So this could be like a lunch. Yeah. This yeah. could be my lunch, or do I need maybe a sandwich food? With no, this you don't really, unless it's a, this one is quite a plain one. Sometimes Xenia even put in muesli yam into Konala. this, yes. Did I tell you cereal yam? Yes, I tell you, yeah. 
even have it maybe crush your wheat bix inside mm. or use it as your yogurt for your muesli mm. Mm. <laughs> all right let's hear her next question my children love sweets chocolates and chips which fruits and vegetables can i use to replace this and how can i prepare them mm, that is a very good question i mean how do you replace the chocolate Ah, as in using does was goes replace as in just in moderation. So man, just in yeah, But we do it? have a replacement or rather a an alternative for ama potato chips. Really? Yes, really. And that means it's just not potato chips. It's beetroot chips. It's sweet potato chips. It's butternut chips. It's yeah. carrot chips. It's morocco chips or kale chips. Okay, so would you have believed it if I told you this? Baba ngeke bang khola uza una manga. Eh, beetroot chips. Baza ngithi khona mina namhlanje. All right, so you did bring some potatoes. Yes, yes I did. Now, how do I make chips? Okay, I I can gather. I can imagine what vele izambane ngalsika. Yeah, izambane ngithi azi sel deep fry kaya. But you can make nama crisps or nama chips. Okay, and so I can make it exciting. You can make it exciting. You can either use the oven, yeah, or you can use um E deep fryer, you know the deep frying method. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder what is it that they are adding gula chips lower to make it more buyable, if I may say. Well, as we know, retailers do add their more buyable ingredients. Yes. But when we talk about homemade things, yeah. I mean I'll add some spices that I like or some spice combinations that I like. And you are responsible for a spice work. Exactly. Who was exactly. So if you okay. want to turn the pele pelos or add chili flakes and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. But when you're baking it well, you drizzle it with some oil yeah, so that it doesn't stick and na kona nje ibe moist nice. So it's baked chips how baked. It's baked chips. Love it. So with the sweet potato you can cut in many different ways like uh -huh. here i'm doing thin slices that are round uh -huh. another way to cut it i'll just show you a variety yes. of ways to cut yes. it ne? another way to cut it is long strips like this ah what's going to cut us in that let's go to cut i get you just put them on a baking tray uh -huh. and then you'll drizzle in your oil mm. and then easiest seasoning salt and pepper Simple. Simplest, easiest seasoning. But it has to be pink Himalayan salt. So when you say you're not, can I use the bleach salt? You can use your pink Himalayan salt. So, but I'm not going to say when you say it's why it's normal. Yes, yes. I would prefer, obviously, the healthier option. Yeah. But munga corn, you know, ma munga yaz, you know, you don't have access to to shops that sell that. Yeah. It's okay. You can use the normal salt. Something like this, so I'm doing with why I'm willing to fag in the oily army, nama spice. Exactly. Ma damas kulu manga mazambani. Ne, ne patanat? E patanat, like I said, it's naturally sweet now. Mm. Just like the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Izamba, and again, lo, now you can even put your barbecue spice mm. or your potato spice. Mm -hmm. They have that as well. Mm. Or vegetable spice, mm. you know. Mm. But you know what I believe? I really believe that it's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not But I always think it's a time thing. I'm not a chips. It's what I'm saying. It's easy. We are tattoo ham. Yes, Lawa indeed. Lawa, you're going to be in Yes. But lawa, you can prepare them, let's say, Sunday, mm. or prepare it and put them in clear plastic nice. bags now, so that ibe into his kaftini. It's a good thing to make and Get keep it. and keep it in store. Mkaza, <laughs> right? So, think about this. Here is result. You go to Uma so tayta mama chips swap apuma anjan. Look at this. What a wow! What a wow! <laughs> hey, so eat beetroot, le? Yes, lena eat beetroot. Mm. Use it's even just as crunchy as as normal chips, mm. if not crunchy, if not, crunchy if not tasty, mm. if not healthier. Mm. Exactly. Mm. And then here we've got the sweet potato. Wow. Mm. And they've kept the skin. You keep the skin. Yes, you can keep the skin on. Just mm. wash it. Make sure to wash your fruits. Mm -hmm. mm. And then these are carrots. Carrots. Yes. Agumnand. Mm. <laughs> and then these are the butternut slices. Mm. Yes. So How once you, get them so crunchy? you slice them, game slicer. You know the the four side grater. Mm. There's that side that has a slicer. Mm. Then you just slice them there. That's how I got them to be like this. So among the grater, you know, my ninja, so na. Like I must just upgrade. Yeah, no, I have no choice. No, I have no choice. Yeah. Then until you melt, you prepare them before. Before, you must like it. Wow, Bali, I love this. This is fantastic. Ah, it's a dream. You are a dream. Right. Next question. So, seeing that it's summer, my kids love ice cream. How can I make ice cream that's healthier, delicious, and cooler for them to enjoy? I love this question. Why? Because it stretches the food. Mm -hmm. You see the smoothies we made yes. earlier on? Yes. 
this is how now you get them to eat ice cream. How? It's a brilliant idea. Okay, good And idea. you can even make this with the without the proper tools, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I've, I've come up with a way to make it homemade, homemade. If you can just get me that foam cup. About my cup last year, go picnic is tell her each use. Aren't you the creative one? I think I know what you're going to say. Okay. Let's tell her ice cream stick. Yeah. Yeah, bo. And then? Then you take the smoothie that we made. So you're on a layer? Yes, you're on a layer. So then you just pour it into the, the cup. Okay. Just like that. But don't fill it to the top because when you freeze it, it rises a bit because mm. it gets solid. Okay. You see. Then what you do with this cup, very simple. You put it in the freezer. Maybe after an hour or so, when yes. it starts getting a bit solid, then you put in the stick. Because if we put it in now, oh, it's stick man. So it's over. So I'm fucking stick after an hour. About after then, an hour. Yeah, and you it further. Four hours or overnight. Leave it in there up until you want to eat it. Wow. But before you eat it, people may be worried the wood is on a matel. You just run it under hot water. And then you make it loose and then you take it out and abantu anabane ice cream ebedla la ngaphandle. So ngicela ngibonisa le ntolo oyikhuluma yayo ukuthi ngirane under hot water. So For example, you did this last night. Yes. So ngiza ngifaka this under hot water. Yes. Angizi njengoba ifreeze kanje. Yeah. You run it under hot water ah. so that it was we keep. Look at that. Ice cream. But healthier cuz exactly. I see exactly pineapple, strawberry. And once again it's a teaching method, I guess. Yes. What are you eating? What does it taste like? Brilliant. So I was focused on about healthy food and getting to teach them about colors. It works for toddlers especially. Tasty. Very tasty. Mm. Once again, healthy. Mm. And like I said, it stretches. Especially in the heat. Exactly. In the heat, I'm a mistake. Now, once again, you're tricking them. So I'm going to say to see the spinach. Mm-hmm. Ice cream and the spinach. I'm Right. Okay. <laughs> Next question. So when it comes to supper, I normally prepare your normal starch, your meat, and your odd salad, such as coleslaw. How can I prepare a nice meal, healthy, but not too vegetable? Lee like. Are you enjoying your food? Yeah. How do you help someone like who lives to, to, to prepare a supper? I'm a veggie, what I say, you hide them. Mm. So, Melua feels like clean. Not that I'm mm. Yes. So, you've brought some macaroni and cheese? Yes, here. I have. Okay. So, what we're going to do here, basically, you've made your macaroni and cheese. Yes. You make your white sauce, ufagi cheese, pagati, and then they are frozen mixed vegetables. Mm-hmm. Then you take your frozen uh, mixed vegetables, boil them separately. Mm. Ne? Mm-hmm. Parboil as kipum sopo. As you can see, color is still there. Mm. Once you've boiled them separately, You've made your mac and cheese separately, then you mix it in at the end so ah. that it doesn't cook further. Gui sauce. Oh. Yeah, but then that's where it gets mushy and there's no texture. That's the whatnot. mistake people make. What are we exactly. To get? And here's another thing. So the carrots have a crunch, the sweet corn has a crunch. So it adds texture to the Which food. Which is nice for the palate. Exactly. Oh. And it's healthy for the gums as well. You mm. need to chew some things. You can't just always be eating yogurt and yogurt and yogurt. Your teeth need to crunch down on something. Besides inyama. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Nice. So how we're going to do this basically. Okay. Let's just add it a bit on top there. Mm. And then we hide it in the food. So if they want a spoon of mac and cheese, they have to go through it. Yes. Yes. Because these are so small that um tuana gagwa zuloga keepa. Aloga keepu. Yeah. Yes. But this way, so we um just yes. And every spoon of mac and cheese that they have has a veg in it. This is the best way to hide it, and it's their favorite, so mm. they'll have to deal. With the vegetables it's inside. It's very clever. Yes. It's very clever. Hmm. I'm not seeing taste again by you. Hmm. This is delicious. Thank you, Kabo. So good. Mm. So good. So these are all just nice tricks. I call them tricks mm. to hide vegetables. Of course, if you're one in a million and you have a child who loves vegetables, mm. you don't have mm. to go through all of this. You know, when you find that your kids eat like this, they actually mm. don't like the takeaways anymore. Mm. They don't like the potato chips. They see oil on their fingers, mm-hmm. they, don't, they end up not liking that yes. kind of stuff. Your food was delicious from breakfast to supper. Plus, nama snacks, and not just delicious, Jay. nutritious and good for the body. Indeed, yes. For Yes. Wow, this was amazing. Mm-hmm.
Nyanaznina. You follow Palisane on Instagram. So come, tweet me, DJ Libu Pillow, and Facebook me, DJ Libu Pillow, or email me, DJ Libu Pillow at sabc.co.za. Now, this interview is being posted online for Relevza to view and take notes. Now, you can log on and watch us again on SABC Education's YouTube channel, Usfuna Lapaya, DJ Libu Pillow. To hear what she has learned from Ushef Palisa, stay tuned. Siambuya Manch. Welcome back. Usasa na mi lagudi jo lebo pilo on SABC2. When we met to lebo kang elia on live showin, ebe funu wa guti how can she prepare ama fruits and vegetables guti abe appetizing. Oguti ena ni nganza kizkale so I enjoy. She has seen our conversation with Chef Pali Pali online. I guess we lebo lebo kang to find out guti he na ito pili guti ngopoyam with my expert. What a wonderful show. Thank you so much. I never knew there were so many different ways of preparing vegetables in a clever and creative manner for my children, including myself. Chef Palisa really gave me a great idea of disguising vegetables. I know now that I can give them vegetables that will give them the nutrients that they need. I didn't even know you could make chips out of beetroot and butternut and well, obviously the, chip, the potato ones. So I'm gonna try that season them a little bit for my children and who knows that will be the beginning of a beautiful palette for them i love the idea of the spinach smoothie with strawberries and other vegetables that you can put in there and i love ice cream who knew you could hide vegetables in ice cream that is definitely what i'm going to start making as a family treat for my children as a dessert thank you dijo libupilo and chef balisa for showing me how to prepare vegetables and fruits in a very clever and creative way. I'm definitely going to make it for my family and for my kids, and we're definitely going to have fun. I will show you how to get a plan. You can get a stress. You can get a show you how to online. I'm going to get a tweet at DJ Libopilo or on Facebook, Facebook DJ Libopilo or email me DJ Libopilo at sabc.co.za. But it's not a call to go to the show. You can learn how to get a job. You can 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 get a job. So please, if you have any via social media, email, or if you have any questions, you can ask me a question. You can ask me a question. You can ask me a question. What will be chosen as the question of the day for next week's show? Masaka ne lakwa S A B C two for more DJ Lebo Pilo. Zombona la same place, same time. It date. Uzo bokon. Bye bye.